Hi YouTube friends, welcome. Join me because today we're going to be making this simple square knot or reef knot paracord bracelet. To make this, start off by measuring out a piece of paracord against your wrist just to get your wrist circumference and then just pinch it off and fold that piece of paracord over and we want to add just another little bit so go halfway along this length here and just pinch it off at that section and cut that piece off just give it a quick singe and then what we want to do is join these two pieces into a loop. So just melt both ends at the same time. And then once you have them melted, just press them together. Just so you fuse these two bits together to form a loop. When you've made your loop, take your other piece of paracord and just fold it in half and then find the center and take your loop and pass the bite through that loop. Grab in underneath and then pull that loop through and that should form your square knot and then just measure it out against your wrist again and just put the square knot in the center and then go to the other side and the end of your loop should be around about the center of your wrist and you should have enough free to tie a button as well and next we want to hide this join here so just adjust your loop around because it's going to get pinched off and we want to form a little loop here at the top for our loop and knot closure so just get this weld near the top here so we can form our loop to hide this weld here I'm going to tie a range bead so I can set this aside for the time being and grab another piece of paracord and to tie this range bead I first want to start off by forming an overhand loop and then form another overhand loop exactly the same as the first and then cross that second loop over the top of the first loop. Then grab your working end and we're going to weave through this knot here. So I'm going to go down through that first, then up through the center, and then down through the end loop. Now I can just pull that through and that should make another loop here on the end. So next I can take the working end over the top of this strand running down. Just going to pinch that off there and then I'm going to take it down through this last loop and then up through this center here. Now I can pull both free ends just gently just so we draw the knot together a little bit. And then what we want to do is just fold it over and open up the center by placing our finger in the middle. 
So that should be our ranger bead loosely formed. Then we can grab our bracelet again, feed the bracelet through, and then we can tighten the ranger bead up around these two strands. So just pull it and then start at one side and you're going to need to feed slack through the knot just by pulling the strand and following the knot all the way around until you get to the other side. So I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit just so we get the general shape of the ranger bead then we can slide it over that weld and then tighten this knot up nice and tight around that weld so it's hidden. So once we have this ranger bead nice and tight we can then cut off these excess pieces and then singe them off with a lighter just cinch them off and then press them flat and do the same to the other side here and then we want to tie one more ranger bead and then place it on the other side just so we even the bracelet up. Once you have this second ranger bead tied you can just do one more quick measurement against your wrist to see where to tie the button and just pinch it off where you want to tie the button and then the way we're going to do that is just to form an underhand loop going in underneath those two strands and then an overhand loop going in on top and then take the right hand strand up through the right loop and the left hand strand take it down through the left loop and then tighten it up by just pulling directly outwards and then we just need to cut and singe these pieces off. So I've cleaned up the ends here now and that is your finished square knot bracelet. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because here we talk about both decorative and functional knots. Thanks for watching, I like you all, and I will see you on the next video.